Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking all about fume hoods. Now, a fume hood or a fume cupboard is basically a self-contained environmental box that sucks away all the nasty volatile chemicals that you don't want to be breathing in. So anytime you're dealing with uh, organic solvents or reactions that produce some sort of gas, you want to be working inside one of these guys. Now the fume hood offers two particularly important protections. One, it has a tremendous capacity to evacuate gases. So it eliminates any of the volatile compounds or dangerous chemicals in the air that we don't want to be breathing. In addition to that, the sash offers a physical barrier between us and any sort of chemical reaction, perhaps a, an out of control chemical reaction, uh, a fire or, or even some sort of small explosion. Inside most fume hoods are the capacity to bring in uh, cold water, vacuum, uh, more cold water, nitrogen, and uh, of course vacuum as well. Some of them instead of having nitrogen just have compressed air. And a fume hood often has uh, scaffolding as well that you can uh, affix your own apparatus to. Now something you want to pay particularly close uh, attention to is that when you're working in the fume hood you don't want the sash too high as its capacity to actually evacuate the air reduces. Now this isn't because the air pumps uh, simply lack the capacity to move the air. It's actually because the larger the opening, the greater the capacity somebody simply walking by has to create a low pressure and suck some of the air out. And that's not what you want. So it's very important that whenever you're working with a fume hood that you check your airflow meter to make sure you have sufficient airflow through. And if you ever encounter a situation where there starts to be a backdraft, there isn't sufficient airflow, it's very important to close the sash all the way and hit the emergency purge. That process is going to increase the airflow rate up to three to four times from what it normally is, ensuring that any gases being produced or, or contained within the fume hood are evacuated. And a final note, even if you aren't working with volatile organic compounds or anything like that, a fume hood is a great place to work with any sort of experiment that can be quite messy. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video about the fume hood. Uh, if you did, uh, throw a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. And while you're down there, leave a comment below. Let us know any kind of crazy stories that you might have run into uh, using a fume hood. Experiments gone right or wrong. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.